Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So, we are 24 hours later-ish and uh, the loss to Blackburn of 1-0 is still fresh in my brain. It was a horrible game. I did a bit of a review, live review with uh, some of you guys who were who were there. So thank you for um, getting involved in there, obviously chatting with me. If you missed that video, check it out up here. I watched the last few minutes of the game and then chatted about basically the loss. So... We had what 25 shots on uh, 25 shots eight on target, and they had one shot on target. That was the goal they scored. So it wasn't really the way I wanted it to go. Um, disappointing. It just just things weren't going our way. It was one of them games. We scored tw we scored twice. One was given offside, which to be fair was was offside, and the other one was handball from Clark, where he kind of nudged it with his hand. Not 100% sure how much he meant it, but I mean, it did hit his hand, uh, so I don't know, that one's a tough one. I'd be disappointed if it got given against us, but it was slightly harsh to give it against him. <laughs> so yeah, what, what are you going to do? So yes, things aren't looking particularly great, and as you probably guessed from the title of this video, the African Cup of Nations is starting, and we are losing three players. Uh, two players who didn't get invited to the African Cup of Nations are Teote, who doesn't really play anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered if he did, and Lazar, who was um, ruled not fit enough by Morocco, which is why he hasn't gone. So he could be someone we could use um, in the next month when the other players are gone. Um, but he wasn't the first team starter, so it's not a huge one. So of the three, Mbemba is the first one. Um, arguably one of the Best centre-backs we actually have, but he's not in favour with Rafa, which is why it's not a huge issue. Obviously, if there was an injury to Lascelles or Clark, uh, then it could be an issue. But yeah, he's off um, with Congo. He's off there, so we won't be seeing him for the next month or so. The two that I think um, are going to bother us the most is Diame and Atsu. Yes, they will not be free for the Birmingham match this Friday, and then they won't be free for Brentford away, Rotherham at home, and we are playing Brighton on the 28th of January, and the group stages of um, the African Cup of Nations ends on the 25th of January. So, if um, Senegal or Ghana, Diame, Atsu, if they are knocked out of the group stages, then they could potentially be there for the Brighton game um, but if they get past that the final is on the 5th the 4th the 5th of February um, so we could actually lose them for the Brighton game as well um, and then we also play QPR on the 1st which is the Wednesday and then we play Derby on the 4th which is the Saturday so for the sake of Newcastle Hopefully, um, Senegal and Ghana get knocked out of the group stages. But in all seriousness, for the sake of them, I hope they actually go on and do really well in their um, African Cup of Nations. Obviously, for us, uh, best case scenario, they miss three games, including an FA Cup game. Worst case scenario is they miss six or seven games, which is including Brighton away, which would not be good, because... Um, well, we'll start off with Atsu. Uh, I think he's done very well. I think he's quite a direct player, which is what we definitely need, especially when we're losing against uh, Blackburn 1-0. I mean, Gufran has played well this season. I will give him that. Uh, he started the season a lot better off than how he's been playing in the last few games. If it was me, I'd be moving on to probably playing Atsu ahead of him. Um, let me know what you guys think of that down below. I think Atsu was just... Sh oh, he's come on as sub a lot, and it's not easy to obviously show what you can do when you haven't got long on the pitch. Um, but for me, I think he probably has shown a bit more than Gufran has. Um, so I will be playing him more often, which is why it's annoying that as soon as he starts to come good, um, he goes off for a month and possibly even longer. So... Let's hope Gufran can um, start playing like he did at the start of the season and maybe we won't miss Atsu too much, but that remains to be seen. Let's be honest, the one I think we're really going to miss is Diame. He has, he has played very well at times and then at times he has made a few mistakes, but overall I think he has been very good for the club. In comparison to Perez, who unfortunately for me I don't think has played very well. This season, I don't know if it's the position he's in or if he's just not been as good or if he's not up for the championship. I, I don't know. Um, I think um, when he had his good spell for us, 
he was around players who maybe saw him as like the lead to get the goals and now that Gale's doing that maybe Perez doesn't prefer the in behind I'm not really sure but for me Diomi has been very good and I think we're going to miss him one thing as well to mention is that Shelby's ban ends just in time for the Brighton game so um, at least we won't be without Diome, Atsu and Shelby for the Brighton game so Shelby will be back for that but if we could have Diome back as well uh, that would be very, very helpful. Without Diome, I imagine we probably will stick with Perez. Um, the thing is, it's just all come at the wrong time. Shelby's banned, Diome's on on his way out, um, and that too. So we're left with almost like, a, not a second string team, but there's some, basically Diome and Shelby were pretty much two of the key players who won't be here anymore. Obviously, the transfer window is now open and we have the avail avail availability to loan or transfer players in. I said a little bit in my live review that I'm very keen to get some loan deals on the go. Um, I'll be updating you on this channel with everyone we do bring in. Um, I think loan deals are the way forward. But yes, guys, I will leave it there. Uh, the main point is that we will be missing Atsu, Diome and Mbemba for the next three games minimum. Let me know what you think and if that's going to affect us that much. Do we need to bring in some new players ASAP? Or can we last the next few games without Shelby, Diome and so on? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you have and subscribe if you are new. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.